Okay, so part two of Megan, we are going to work on her eyebrows now. And so for her eyebrows, you're going to grab your lasso tool. And uh, with the lasso tool, we're working on this layer over here that is the um, top layer. Blemish is done where we started last time. So we're going to select the lasso tool. And you're going to have to be quite careful now. And it might take you a few tries to do this. And what you're going to do is you're going to drag an eyebrow shape that's up on her forehead that's clean. And so I'm just going to very carefully drag and make an eyebrow shape. Now I'm pathetic with a mouse, you guys. I really wish I had a, a tablet because I cannot do this. So it's going to take me a bit, but let me remind you that you can add into your lasso by holding your shift down. So if I hold down my shift and I want to add in these pixels that are over here, I can add them in and I can also subtract out pixels that I don't want by using my alt key. Now the bottom of this has got to be good. Okay. So I'm going to need to subtract out some of these pixels here because it's way too wobbly. Okay. So these are the subtract out ones and I'm going to hold my shift key in order to add pixels in so that I can make this nice and straight. I got a wobble here. I need to subtract out. I'm going to use my alt key and I'm going to just subtract out these few little pixels that are in here. And I got quite a wobble over here that I need to add in. So I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm going to add in these pixels, circle that around and subtract out my wobbles. So you can see that I'm really bad at this when I'm using a mouse. But try and get your bottom. Oops, I must have clicked. I'm going to undo that. Control Z. Bring selection back. Try and get your bottom so that it is nice and smooth. The top part is not quite as important as getting the bottom part. Okay, so play with that as best as you can to get a nice eyebrow shape happening in here. Okay. I'm again going to pause my video and work on getting this a little bit more accurate. Okay, so I've got a decent eyebrow shape that is on the bottom part of it. The top part, like I said, doesn't matter quite so much. You just need to have a little bit of thickness there to it. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my select menu, choose modify, and I'm going to feather this so that's not a really hard edge on that selection. And I'm going to feather it by five pixels. Now you can't tell that it's done anything, but it has feathered it. And my next step now is to jump that to its own layer. So control J, that will make a copy of that on its own layer. If I shut these other layers off temporarily, you'll see what I mean, that I just have that shape now with a nice feathered soft edge on the edge of it uh, because I did that feather modifier before I jumped it. I'll turn these back on so you can see what's going to go on here. I'm now going to use my move tool so you can hit your V or you can come up here onto your move tool and I'm going to grab that eyebrow shape and I'm just going to drag it down and you see how I just trim off that eyebrow a little bit. Okay, and don't worry about this edge in here that doesn't match quite correctly uh, because we can always heal that out afterwards. And so now we're going to do the exact same thing uh, with the other eyebrow. Other eyebrow, though, remember, it doesn't exist on this layer too. It exists over here. So I have to go back to my blemishes done layer. I'm going to use my lasso tool. I'm going to grab a nice eyebrow shape. Don't grab any hair. Get that to be accurate. Okay, so I'm going to pause my video again so that you don't have to watch me make mine all accurate. Okay, so I've now got a fairly accurate selection on the bottom that follows the shape of her eyebrow. Remember, we need to modify that, feather it, give it a five pixel feathering. Now we're going to jump that to its own layer. So we're going to make a copy. You could do a copy and a paste, but Control J will do that all in one step. 
you can see that layer three is now where that new one is. And so I'm going to use my move tool again. You can hit your V key or you can grab your move tool. And again, I'm going to grab that and I'm just going to bring it down to tweak her eyebrow a little bit and give it a little bit more shape. Again, we're not going to worry about this coloring too much because that's going to blend in when we go to do some other steps anyway, okay? So we're done the shape of the eyebrows. Sit on your very top layer. We're going to do that merge layers again. So control, shift, alt, then press your E key. It creates that merged layer on top. So it has now taken all of these layers that are below merge them all or flatten them all into one layer that's completely finished. Double click on that name and I want you to call this eyebrows done. From here 